So back in the day, before I was taken down, um, I did a video about the fool's journey and someone asked me to put it back up, so I am. So this journey begins and ends with the fool. It's a cycle. We go through these cycles every day, every week, every month, every year of our lives. We start one day and then end it and begin another. So every day is a fresh start. Um, so there is always a chance of a new beginning. The fool is about feeling the fear and doing it anyway. Um, taking that risk. Beginning that new day not knowing what's coming. Um, that new life, that new year, whatever it is. We don't know what the future holds, but we always come back to this. So it starts as a zero, but it's also at the 22. Um, so it's like being born when we're first born. And then the magician gives us the skills that we need to, uh, or the tools that we need learning to eat, to walk, to think for ourselves. <coughs> so the number two is the high priestess. It's learning to trust our intuition, um, to possibly have faith, um, to learn that we have to sometimes make sacrifices. The third stage is to conceive ideas, to bring forth um, abundance in our lives, to make us happy. It's the mother energy. The four is the father, the emperor. So we have relationships with our parents. The fifth is schooling, learning teachers, learning to speak for ourselves and the belief in what we're doing. And if we're lucky, the six is finding the partner that mirrors us, that is our soulmate. Um, the number six, Possibly, number seven, could be as simple as learning to drive another skill. Or taking charge of your own life. So when you first leave home. Or learning to drive a new skill. The eight is the strength, the backbone, the integrity to do whatever we need to do. Having the power struggles with authority figures, maybe. <coughs> Nan is deciding whether we are going to conform or follow our own path and turn our back on everything that we've been taught or believed to be true. Which brings about the changes of the ten. The wheel of fate. Uh, fate puts things in our path. Destiny is the choices that we make. Um, justice, in number 11, is about realising you can't always sit on the fence, that you have to make a decision and stand by it. Um, the 12 is realising that you have to put your boundaries in place and learn to say no, not always being a doormat and letting people make you a victim or a martyr of a situation. The 13 is a hard lesson. It's about realising that everything has this cycle that we go through. There is always a death and then a rebirth. The 14 is about learning life's lessons and some of them are hard ones. It's about overcoming addictions it's about um, having patience. The 15 is about signing contracts, um, promises, uh, selling your soul to the devil or not, depending on you. 
are you attracted by shiny baubles? Because you will be tempted in life. 16 is about building up walls or building ivory towers, getting the perfect home and realising it's becoming a prison. You have to bring those walls down at some point, either being vulnerable or destroying something like relationships or um, walking away from a job to follow your true north, which is the 17. To have hope um, uh, to, and to face the chaos head on because from the chaos comes order. Your north nerd. And we have the 18 where we may be torn um, internally, emotionally, we know we need to, we're coming towards a new birth, a rebirth, because we've almost finished the cycle, and it may be when you give birth to your own children, and it opens your eyes to the reality of this world, it's not always easy, and it can be a path of blood and tears, the 19 is your happiness, um, when obstacles are removed, and you see um, what life can be like. And then the 20 is about judgment day. Your life will be judged either at the end of life or the end of every day. You will sit there and think, oh, well, today wasn't a very good day or it was a good day. Um, but there's always the chance of a fresh start, new beginning, because this is bringing those walls down and being like the phoenix and rising again. And the 21 is about travel to the object of your desire, be it person, things or events. It is ending this cycle so that we can begin again. And so the fool goes on. So every day you will be given new tools. Every day you will ask to be sacrificed something, to go with your intuition, to find where the abundance and happiness lies to um, face authority or um, have self-worth. Every day you will learn something new. Every day you will have choices to make and every day you will have to take control um, and be courageous. And that might mean that you have to turn your back on things. And change things. Might be little things, might be big. But be just and fair. And do not let others make you a victim or a martyr in a situation. So death and rebirth. Every day, every week, every year, this cycle goes on. And we learn from the hard lessons. And we break the shackles, hopefully, that have been keeping us manipulated by others. Toxic situations. And we destroy what doesn't serve us anymore and go into the future knowing that we have a purpose. We are creating something new for the future. And hopefully that will make us very happy. The settlement of long-standing problems, so settle it, never go to bed on an argument and bring this chapter to a positive conclusion so that we can begin again. And so the story goes on. Every day, every week, every month, every year of our lives, we go through these cycles, big and small. But they are cycles. And this too shall pass. So I hope that helped. Thanks for listening. Speak soon.